All right, here's the latest on Brandon Ayuk. He and the 49ers are getting closer. I can verify that. And Mike Garofalo had a few more details in his latest report where he said that the three-year cash flow, the three-year APY, the guaranteed money, a lot of that stuff is already essentially agreed on between Brandon Ayuk and the 49ers in this contract negotiation. But Garofalo said, and I quote, Ayuk just wants an adjustment in the final year. So let me explain what that means because there's a ton of misinformation around, around there. A lot of people are saying, well, they offered him 30 million a year. That's the be all end all. That is a total oversimplification of what's happening here. And I think that the nuances have to be appreciated so that you can understand how this might proceed and how quickly this might be resolved. Average per year APY is only a surface level number. Now, I'm not saying that it's unimportant. It, it, average per year can be very important to players for vanity reasons. You remember when Trent Williams negotiated a few thousand more into his deal just so he could surpass David Bakhtiari in APY for the top spot amongst tackles? Well, Brandon Ayuk might want a little bit more than Amon Ross St. Brown. Remember that the current 49ers negotiations with Brandon Ayuk, we, we've reported that the Amon Ross St. Brown deal is uh, what brought the 49ers or took this from being close to done back in April to obviously this this entire lengthy process. So APY could be important to Brandon Ayuk for those vanity purposes. Also agents typically like a good healthy APY on a deal because they can then advertise that APY to other clients. So those are two you know reasons why APY is not something to just completely scoff at but it is not the meat and potatoes of any NFL contract. The meat and potatoes lies in the guaranteed money, total guaranteed money and fully guaranteed money. And that has to be taken care of before any APY discussion is, is even had. That stuff is more important. According to Mike Garofalo, if the first three year cash flow is in and the guarantees are in, then the 49ers and Brandon Ayuk have done a lot of the heavy lifting and a lot of the hard part here. Now, how do you pump up the APY? Well, that's where we look at the hints here. And Garofalo said, quote, he just wants an adjustment in the final year, end quote. It is extremely, extremely rare to see an NFL contract, a long-term NFL contract with any guaranteed money in the final year. So what that tells me, reading between the lines, if what Mike is saying is true, that tells me that there's a non-guaranteed addition that Brandon Ayuk and Ryan Williams' agent won in that final year. That's what we call funny money. Tyreek Hill, in his uh, original contract with the Miami Dolphins after being traded from the Kansas City Chiefs, had, I think, a $43 million base salary tacked on to the very final year. None of that was guaranteed, but that amount was specifically selected so that way the average period per year of the whole contract would exceed 30 million. So it was funny money, it was a vanity number, it was there. Perhaps that's important to Ayuk and Ryan Williams in this case. I'm just trying to read in between the lines and see some of the, uh, and see some of the potential strategy here that's congruent with what Mike Garofalo said, and it does appear that that is possible. But I can say definitively that the 49ers and Brandon Ayuk are, are closer than they've ever been. And San Francisco obviously has urgency to get this done. They want to avoid the prolonged negotiation that, that hurt the team last year with Nick Bosa not showing up until a couple days before the start of the regular season. So there is urgency on their part, but there also is a sense that this remains unpredictable just because throughout this entire process, I, I, I don't think that we've quite had a normal progression of events. I don't think that we've had a clear articulation and direction of things that's been consistent throughout this process from Brandon Ayuk. I know that we've seen the posts that he's made or, or some of the comments that he's made in interviews over the course of the offseason that have all indicated that he wants to play with the 49ers and he wants to resign here for a long-term deal. But we've also seen cryptic messages from him and his camp filtered in throughout uh, the rest of that process. For, due to that, this has been a rather unpredictable saga. And I think that you know, regardless of whether or not the 49ers were bluffing during the, the whole past two, what, 17 days or so with uh, all of the trade talk and 
uh, all of those rumors, regardless of whether or not there are guardrails in place to prevent a, a, an actual trade from ever happening, this has been more dramatic and more volatile, especially in the on online rumor mill, than other 49ers negotiations before it, even more so than the Debo Samuel negotiation. So I want to emphasize that there's still a degree of unpredictability here. And I think that everybody probably senses that anyway. You know, even if you could say that this is closer than it has been in the past at this point for the 49ers, but because there have been so many false reports, some of them two weeks ago saying that Brandon Ayuk is about to re-sign, and then some of them prematurely saying that the 49ers are about to trade him. Because there's been so much boy who cried wolf in both directions incorrectly, because there's been so much of that, I think people are skeptical. People are hesitant to jump on any progress or report right now. So I would say that there's a lot of optimism. Things are moving in the right direction. They're probably closer than they ever have been. But there should still be some skepticism because this is a situation that has been rife with unpredictability throughout. All right, so I'm at the facility right now. I'm about to head back to San Francisco. If and when this contract is finally signed, you could be sure that I'm going to have all the details for you. I think this is what I would warn people right now. If and when a Brandon IU contract does clear and the initial reports come out, there are going to be rushes to judgment on the simple money on the average per year. If it's just over 30 million per year, people will say, oh, the 49ers overpaid, they lost the negotiation. Or if it's uh, under that, then people will say, oh, look at the 49ers, they won the negotiation. My thing is you won't be able to tell from that initial money. We're gonna need fully guaranteed money. We're gonna need structure. We're gonna need cap hits. I talk about the prorating of the signing bonus. I talk about the guaranteed option bonuses that the 49ers could use to further stagger the cap hit. We're gonna need all that information to judge how this deal fits within the 49ers larger picture. And their ultimate goal in all of this should be to re-sign Brandon Ayuk, a very good receiver, at a rate that allows them to keep the team together and efficiently sign Brock Purdy and others moving forward. If you, if you let the sink overflow, if, if the, the expenditures here are either too much or not correctly structured or both, and you compromise your ability to do that in the future, well, th that's when this deal is a problem for the 49ers. We will not know for sure when, if and when this situation is, is resolved and we get the initial reports, we will not know for sure how this deal stands and how it affects the 49ers in big picture judgment. But we'll know shortly thereafter. And I would just advise there to be a lot of patience. There should be patience right now as we wait to see if this is going to be wrapped up and there should be patience uh, if and when we do get news because I think people will try to overreact without appreciating or understanding the nuances of these types of contracts. And as we can tell based on how long this negotiation has been and how contentious it's been and based on, on some of the reports we're getting about it, as we can tell the details are going to matter very, very much. So it's time to Put on the thinking caps and be ready to understand contractual details. And if you don't, then I'll, I'll explain them for you. But uh, we're going to have a lot of analysis coming if and when this is completed between the 49ers and Brandon Ayuk.